In this morning's Money Watch, helping young adults in this tough economy. According to the Bureau of Labor, Labor Statistics, 20% of people between the age of 16 and 24 are unemployed. And the 2008 U.S. Census found that 15 million young adults live with their parents. So what can parents do without going broke themselves? Here with some advice is Early Show financial advisor Ray Martin. Good morning, Ray. Good morning, Julie. First of all, how do you figure out if you can even afford to help your kids? Yeah, and it breaks down like this. According to a recent survey, 41 percent of parents are providing financial support cash to their adult kids. And the amount is a surprising 10 percent of their income. Look, wow. You know, if, you're, if you're a parent and you're struggling yourself, you're struggling to make your mortgage payments on time, you have credit card debt, you're struggling to make the minimum payments, you haven't saved for retirement or not saving for retirement. If you're struggling, you shouldn't help your struggling child with cash. You should find other non-cash ways to help them. What about letting them move back in with you? Is that a smart idea? That's a, that's a perfect example of that. Letting your, having your adult kids move in with you is a great way to provide a once-in-a-lifetime, low-cost living arrangement. But you don't want to create a, 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 a state of dependence that, that lasts a long time. So to set some rules here, what you want to do is talk about, will you charge rent? How much will you charge? Uh, will this be for an open-ended period of time or a limited period of time? What about uh, household duties? Are you going to help with those? Curfews, uh, having visitors, sleepovers. It's a whole new meaning when your adult kids are involved. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Think about the movie uh, Failure to Launch and you get the idea here. But it can be, it can be a great way to help. And about 15 million adults, uh, kids are living with their parents now. All right, what about medical insurance? Is there a way a parent can help an adult child with medical insurance? Yeah, absolutely. According to the new health care reform rules, uh, starting September 23rd, employer provided health plans are required to allow their parents to keep their adult kids on their health insurance up to age 26. This can be an ideal way to continue health insurance, particularly for an adult kid who doesn't have a job right now, can't get coverage, or who has pre-existing conditions and coverage would be otherwise unaffordable for them. But don't always assume that's the best option. Uh, if your adult kid is uh, very healthy, they might be able to get insurance at a lower cost than it costs to add them to back to the parent's policy. So check out websites like ehealthinsurance.com and you might be able to find health insurance for as little as $150 a month. Wow, okay. Yeah. What about credit card debt and student loans? Is it a smart idea for parents to help bail, bail their kids out? Well, you want to resist financial bailouts. I mean, you, you, you want to help, but you don't want to enable here or, or create a, 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 you want to create economic self-sufficiency. So instead of uh, saying, oh, look, I'm going to pay off all your debts here, work with your adult kid to restructure their student loans, uh, consolidate them, look at the income-based repayment option, or stretch out student loans to maybe 25 years to make the payments more affordable. Okay, and finally, if your kid doesn't have a credit card, and they want one, is it a smart idea for you to co-sign for them? No. No, you don't want you, a parent who co-signs for their uh, adult kid's credit card is putting their own credit history right at risk. So if that kid uses that card irresponsibly and is late on payments, it's going to reflect on the parent's credit report and credit score as well. So you don't want to do that. And, and you know, now kids under the age of 21 aren't allowed to get credit cards unless they have income to prove it or they get their parents to co-sign. Parents don't co-sign here. Instead, get duplicate copies of statements of credit cards, uh, statements for your kids, or get on their website and be able to watch their activity and help them with a debt repayment plan as well. But don't co-sign. <laughs> Tough love. Yeah. Ray Martin, thanks so much. Oh, you're welcome, Julie. Good advice.